you guys. Welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are once again in Adobe InDesign and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on working with images within Adobe InDesign. Images are going to be a huge part of your projects within InDesign, whether it be you designing a program or a magazine or a brochure, whatever it may be, you're going to want to know how to manipulate images within InDesign in a way that will allow you to make your projects look better and stand out amongst the crowd. So. The first thing that we're going to go over is, obviously, how do you get an image into Adobe InDesign? Now, there are a number of ways of doing it. Uh, there, you, know, you can take an image from your desktop or your folder and drag it into InDesign, but the easiest way to do it will be going to File, up here, and then going to Place. There is a command here that is Command-D on a Mac, Control-D on a window. It says Place, File, Place. Click on File, Place. Once you've done that, it will then open up your computer where you can locate your images. I have a nice image of Mr. Chuck Norris right here that I'm going to click on. Click on the image you want to load into InDesign and then select open. Once you have that, you will see now the image is on your mouse cursor and you can move it wherever you want. So go ahead and click somewhere in your document. Now, once the image is in Adobe InDesign, there are a number of things that you can do with this image. Now, obviously I can click on it with my selection tool and move it around the document. I can center it with my adjustment grid lines there uh, with my text or whatever I may have on the document. Another thing that you can do with the image, obviously, is clicking on the edges of, or hovering over the edges of the image, click and hold and drag and you can resize the frame of that image. Now, if you saw when I drag this down, that does not take the image all the way down and make it you know, constrained to those proportions. It actually is taking this frame. So what I can do now is I can right click on this image right here and then I can go down to the option where you see fitting. Now, these are very, very important when you're working with images, okay? You can fill the frame proportionally, fit the content proportionally, fit the frame to content, or fit the content to frame. So I'm gonna fill the frame proportionally. When I click on that, it will now resize this image to proportionately fit this frame. Now, if I went over and back down to fitting, and then I went to fit content proportionately, obviously with him being the same size, it's gonna be the exact same effect. But if I go back one here, and then right click, and go to fitting, and then go to fit content proportionately, it will again give me that desired effect of this image in the frame that I have designed. Now, another thing you can do within fitting is you can actually center the content if you have a frame there, or you can even clear the frame fitting options, and then that will go ahead and allow you to add other effects. Now, once you have the image in the frame the way you want it, you can actually double click here and drag the image down in the frame. If I double click on this little circle here in the center of the frame, I can adjust where I want that image to go. So I double click and then drag the image up or sideways and it will allow you to, you know, allow it to be left of the frame. So now I have him kind of sitting right here and I can kind of put him up here uh, right under my text and it looks like he's kind of sitting right there within the page. That's all done by double clicking here and doing it that way. Now something else that you can do within InDesign that you can do obviously within any other uh, photo editing software is you can rotate the image. If I hover over one of the corners here I can click and hold when I see my arrows kind of in a curved uh, shape there, I can click and hold and I can then adjust my image and rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise by just clicking and holding. And if you look in the gray area there, you will see how many degrees I am angling this image. Now I'm not going to do it with this specific image, but if you did want to rotate that image, you could do it, you know, with, with, with that effect. So once I have my image the way I want it and I've rotated it or done whatever I want to do, then I can go and I can start adding borders. I can start doing whatever I want to do within this image. So I can right click on the image again. I can copy the image. I can cut it, paste it in place, whatever you want to do. Now I can actually go into the transform option here and I can move the image. I can scale the image. I can rotate it a specific degree. Uh, I can rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. I can rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. I can rotate it 180 degrees. I can even flip the image horizontally so now it's 
a, a mirror image of what I have. So if I wanted to, I could undo that. I could copy this image of Chuck Norris here, and then I could paste it by hitting Command or Control V. And then what I could do is I could actually rotate this image here. So I could go down to Transform, and then go to Rotate 90 Degrees Clockwise. Oh, sorry. What you want to do is you go down to Transform, and then Rotate 90 Degrees Counterclockwise. And then you see here, I have him kind of up here. So I could do a whole circle of Chuck Norris's if I wanted to. So I can go down here and transform again. And now I can rotate this thing as many times as I want to get the effect that I want. So that's kind of how you rotate images within Adobe InDesign. Now, if I want to add an effect to an image, so say I want to add a drop shadow to an image, which you really normally don't want to do, you can do that by clicking on the frame of the image and then going up here and applying a drop shadow from your toolbar. Or you can go to uh, right here where you see Window, and then you can go to Effects if you would like to and open up the Effects panel, and then you can go here and add an effect that way. So you could add a hard light, color burn, all the effects you could normally do within text, within InDesign, you can do those within Adobe uh, on images as well. Now, if I wanted to add a border to this image, how would I go about doing that? Well, there are a number of ways of going about adding an image, or I'm sorry, adding a border to an image. You could actually go up here and you could add a you know background. That would be a fill behind the image, but that really does not look good at all. So what you want to do is you want to go here and add a stroke okay which is the border of that image so I'm going to add a black stroke background uh, border to this image and then what you're going to want to do is increase the point or pixel size of that border and that will then give you the border effect that you want and then if you want you can go in and you can change the color change the width and depth and do it that way so that's how you add borders to images with in Adobe InDesign. Now, there are obviously a few other things that you can do within this, you know, specific, you know, state that your image is in. So, what I have done now is I'm going to show you how to make frames within InDesign and then place an image into that frame. Now, if you go over to your toolbar, you will see an, a frame tool. Uh, it may be the ellipse frame tool, the rectangular frame tool, whatever it may be. I'm going to select the ellipse frame tool. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out an ellipse. Uh, right here on my screen and I'm going to drag it over here to the exterior of my artboard. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to file and then I'm going down to place one more time and I'm going to select my image. I'm going to click on open and now that image is placed in that border and I have a nice little uh, ellipse around that border and again if you want to go back you can always add a nice blue uh, border to that or black or whatever color you want to add and then increase the point size there and you now have a nice border around your image and don't forget guys when you're working within Adobe InDesign always use the adjustment grid lines to center your images with each other so that way it looks better within your project so guys this has been a little bit about the basics of working with images within InDesign I hope it's helped you out images are a crucial part of what you're going to be doing within InDesign so learn how to manipulate them, learn how to use them in a way that will really make your project stand out. If you have any questions about doing this kind of thing within InDesign, go ahead and put them in the comment box below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Uh, if you want more InDesign tutorials, hit the little button in the top left-hand corner here and subscribe to my channel. I'll put links down below to my uh, InDesign uh, playlist that has all of my InDesign tutorials in it. And I have a ton of them out there. And guys, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. It does help me out. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you guys next time.